Hey, so I did my first look on the station, but I was still a little bit intrigued by the whole alien mystery. So we're gonna continue here and see if we can uncover it fully. Apparently that magnetic tool was supposed to help me find out which of the components was the right one, but I just kind of brute forced my way through this. So whatever, whatever works, right? Maintenance office. Valid ID bracelet detected. The one that I have on me. Aiden's. Yeah. It's just the maintenance area here. Storage. Not much going on. Ooh, maybe that's what Aiden was working on. One of these maintenance robots. Days until daddy's home. Oh, it's a 21 day mission. But right before the very end, something is going wrong. Saito Industries. Holiday Destinations presents Joy Island. So do you think you can build it? <laughs> Not sure where you think I can hide something like this on board. There's a blind spot in the cameras in the upper deck hallway. Right here. Hide? It's possible. But, uh, given the risk, it's gonna cost you. Not a problem. I'm sure it will go to a good cause. Owen, don't let her catch you. Silas and Aiden are doing something that they're not supposed to be doing. Huh. Probe robot deactivated. Okay, current tasks waiting activation. Okay. Maintenance robot is also deactivated. I thought I just activated it. Maybe it's a different one. What's this? Decommission maintenance access room. Oh. How does that look on my map? Upper deck? We haven't been to the lower deck yet, so no map at all. I'm not sure I recognize what that area is. There's like a circular section here, but on my map, we don't have anything circular at all. Alright. Just a computer. Files. Alright. Recyclables. Hmm. Oh, hey! Oh! I guess somebody's watching me. Not like that's news. We know that someone's alive here. They should be alive here, but they're not really wanting to talk to me for some reason. Maintenance room? Saito engineering to Axiom over two months ago. With respect, it's not recommended that we make the suggested repairs and modifications to this vessel. The costs would be nearly the price of the station, brand new. We advise you to consider termination of this project. What broke? Axiom to Saito. Thanks for your recommendations. Can all repairs be completed on schedule as discussed? Okay, so they still want to repair it. Saito to Axiom. Completion can be expected on the date agreed, but management wishes to express that we won't be able to sign off on any warranty. Because of the station's current condition and the nature of these repairs, Saito will not be held legally accountable for any future complications. So the something went wrong over two months ago, but this is a 21-day mission, isn't it? Or did something happen near the end of the 21 days, but then it's kind of just been in limbo for another month after that? Cool. All right. Messaging. None. Notes. Damaged parts. After the warp jumped to Psi Prime, a large portion of our spare parts were discovered to be fried. The damage appears to be from electromagnetic radiation, so it's looking like another unexpected result of moving something as big as the Aspile with the enhanced singularity drive. Makes you wonder what the public support for this mission would be if they were aware of how many unknowns there are on our side. Feels like we're figuring out most of it as we go along. Oh, so this mission, there's a lot of public support too, because I guess everyone wants to know what's up with the aliens. Our current situation is really such a big unknown right now though, like, wh 
Are we okay? Are the people okay? And I wonder about me too. I know that I'm a recon specialist, but from where? For all I know, we could be from the alien civilization. Okay, hold on. So this has nothing. I kind of don't want to look around here anymore because we know something scary is around here. God, I guess we have to. Fire suppressor, medical kit. Medical kit. Hmm. Someone else's room? Dining room. Huh. Whoa, shut up, fuck! What's going on? Are we getting hit from outside? Jesus. Mila. Aiden. I'm constantly cleaning up your messes. Deal with this. Mila, I'm constantly dealing with your passive aggression. Deal with this. Oh, come on, that's not a mess. Are you talking about the nails? Seriously? Mila, don't be like that. No. Got some wine that fell down from the... the shaken. Hidden retreat. Premium superfoods. That's like the most generic sounding food I can think of ever. Nutrient discs. <laughs> Is that what they have in space? Because they can't have proper food? I assume in space they would have quite a bit of frozen food. It's like an easy way to get something that's sort of tasty, but not fresh because that technology is just not there yet. Okay, somebody was eating something kind of gross looking here. Blue cubes? The analysis of the terra firm is complete. It's only Silas's taxonomy of the alien anatomy that is behind schedule, which is surprising given how similar... Aiden, what are you doing? That wasn't me. I'm on my way to engineering now. Call me at the bridge when you get there. That log was called Incident Part 1. So that's... I guess that's why the, the damage came in. Or how the damage came in. Modular by design. Try building your own custom espial with the pieces above. The modular nature of the espial means that the facilities on board can change depending on the needs of the mission. Ooh. You can even bring your personal housing and living quarters with you. Utilizing mostly automatic systems, the espial only requires a small crew to operate the vessel. Okay. That's why there's only three people here. Oh. Oh my god. I mean, that's pretty cool. Yeah, my own espial. The espial that we're currently seeing right now, it's something that's like a... kind of like a cross? Yeah, so something like what we're doing right now, but not... probably looking a little better. Uh... Uh, you know, something like that. Stick it somewhere. I don't know where it went. Whatever. And there you go. Yeah, it looks something like that. Yeah. Maybe that's what they were talking about replacing, because one part broke. Look, it's none of my business. I know you ended whatever was between you and Mila. But the way you still look at her, I'm not convinced you're over her. You're absolutely right, Aiden. It is none of your business. Wow, that's very unprofessional. They actually pursued a relationship, and now they broke it off? How does working like that feel? Sentinel, Sentinels of Star Exploration. Tenets of Cloning. Hmm. They have some weird honeycomb thingy here. Wines. Axiom. Again, sorta of deserted. No one's really here. Where was that person that we saw before? The fact that they're not rushing out to meet me is kind of... Like, why are they avoiding me? I've come here to find out what happened to you. So when you don't meet me, it makes me feel like you're doing something bad. 
Science wing. Access key required. All right. Whoa, what was going on here? Hey, there's a note there. Run! I don't know. That sounded like Mila, because there's only one girl on board. Run, Aiden? Or something? Aiden Vies, at present, given the details you have provided, we are unable to approve the loan for which you have recently applied. In the absence of collateral to secure the amount requested, our institution would consider a smaller principal loan on a cash flow basis, but this would require a constant, consistent employment contract. We appreciate your interest and hope to do business with you in the future. Kedman Consortium. So he's trying to borrow some money here. Why would this randomly just be... <laughs> that should be in his room, shouldn't it? Oh. I guess he was looking at it while he was fixing this mess. So he's not employed here consistently. Maybe he's a contractor. Where did that sound come from? Welcome, Mila. Whoa, her room is kind of fancy. Kind of scary, this painting. Dr Dialer ORP, audio log device, automatically creates audio logs, pairs with your Axiom ARM, doubles as communication device. Directions, once removed from packaging, the device is worn over the ear. Through the constant measuring of brain chemistry, hormonal levels, and heart rate, the device can discern moments of cognitive or emotional significance. Wow. These moments will be automatically created as audio logs for future reference accessible through your Axiom Augmented Reality Device, ARM. Oh, so that's why there's logs around here. Okay, that makes sense. We got like a huge water. Dude, this room is massive. Oh my god! Wow. She reads a lot. Ease air freshener. Your biological metrics indicate that you are stressed. Here's a relaxing scent to calm you. Thank you. I am stressed because I don't know what the hell is happening here so far. I can't believe you hid this from me for so long. So Silas Hayes is the mystery man you've been seeing for the last half year? The guy you're going on the Psy Prime mission with? You'd be in so much trouble if you two were caught. I always see him in interviews, but what's he like in person? I'll try to read one of his books so we can hold a real conversation when you finally introduce me. Does he have an interesting side to him? And or will we just be talking about his favorite kind of rocks? Meet up when you're back. Oh, Is Silas someone famous? His books? All right. The Psy Prime mission. That's our current mission. Hmm. Yeah, so they were conducting this relationship in secret, but they have those devices that automatically detect when's, like, when's emotionally significant. That doesn't seem like a... Oh, thank you. That doesn't seem like a... It would get... They would get caught really easily, wouldn't they? Oops. Sorry. There you are. Tons of books. Huge room. Captain's privilege. My dear child, the frustrations you bear are not borne by my legacy. The praise and glory offered to some are not a lottery of circumstance. They come from strength of will and spirit. They are not the goals, but the byproducts of true leadership. Don't chase something that can't be caught. A good leader does not follow a path, they create one. You may see me as the limit of your success, but it is you, your father. <laughs> your father, Stern Alexa. <sighs> Mila's dad? It's a little bit unnaturally written, because I don't think your dad would write a letter being like, Your father. <laughs> but okay, maybe her dad was someone great too. Ooh. Oh, this is Mila's schedule. So on this, it says that 7 p.m. has passed, or 7 a.m. has passed, but it's not past 9.15 a.m. yet. Operational report with Elias. They had a team scrum. 
something happened on day 17. Yeah, this might not be updated automatically because as we've seen from the other note, they were asking Saito for repairing parts over two months ago. A what? In memory? Is her dad dead? Oh. What is that? Axiom badge. Cool looking badge. Alright, alright. Whoa, what happened here? This is like her makeup corner. Life is tough, but so are you. There's no real achievement possible for the daughter of a hero. Mm. I don't wish to seem ungrateful, but it's getting cold in the shadow you cast on me, father. Is she talking to herself here? And then she got really upset, so she smashed the mirror? She didn't sound that upset, though. Damn. What's up here? Dude, this place is huge. Oh, her bracelet! Yeah, now we can access the bridge. Cool. Hello, Mila. You missed yesterday's workout. Is everything okay? <laughs> can I? Can I have a ride? No. Whoa, she's done 400,000 steps. Holy crap. Oh. Enemies of the future. Business culture. Huh. What the Aspile Psi Prime mission means for other space engineering firms. Oh. Yeah, I'm just reading. Escape. Three of the best places you've never heard of. Have you dreamt of owning an island? Tourism done in style. Ask the experts, destination vacations done on a budget. 10 facts to change the way you view your home planet. The top adventure and escape vacations to clear your mind. So it sounds like people are freely living in places other than Earth here, because your home planet? Yeah, this is like Mass Effect level advanced. Reading your mail. Elias Volanti to Silas. Axiom has been made aware of the undeclared personal and romantic relationship all oh, between the two of you. Given the obvious conflict of interest within the chain of command, we will be preparing an alternate captain for this mission. Oh, shoot. Okay. Silas to Elias. Forward, Mila. Elias, I'm really not sure what was heard, but let me assure you that there is no commitment or relationship between Mila and myself. I apologize that we did not declare our brief casual infatuation, but we are no longer personally involved in our relationship, will remain strictly professional. Mila to Silas. This is what six years is worth to you? Six years? What? I thought they were dating for like six months. Is it your pride that I'm cast so easily aside for, or just a chance to be in a science textbook someday? You're a selfish prick, Silas. I risked everything to hide what we had, and you've shown me how small of a man you truly are. I thought I had found everything I wanted, so thank you for not embarrassing me by leading me to believe the feeling was mutual. I feel like you shouldn't be mad at him because he's just saying that to the guy, he's not saying that to you. He's trying to cover it up so you can both go on the mission. Yeah, I don't feel like you should be that mad about it. Hmm. Messaging. From Elias, seeds of discontent. Receive your report. We'll respond if there are any concerns. Is there anything else you needed to discuss? I'm hearing through the grapevine about some accusations some senators were bribed. Any truth to this? Number one, probably, it's the Senate. Number two, not by anyone from Axiom. Number three, worry about the things that you're paid to. Senators being bribed? The same senators that voted for you guys to go on this mission? Notes. Seldom acknowledged a captain's fate. Seldom acknowledged is how much a captain's fate is tied to the success or failure of their ship. With a vessel so wonderfully maintained as the Aspile, you might almost believe this mission wasn't that important. Hmm, what do you mean? The vessel is so wonderfully maintained, so it's not important? 
The mission is not important? Do you mean like it has no battle scars? Something like that? Hmm. Oh. Alright, well, I guess that's it for this room. Not much going on here. Where is everybody? That's the main question here. We did find her bracelet though, so we can go to the bridge now. What's this? Bridge corridor. Okay, before we go in here, I think I wanna see what's up here. This is the place that we went up before, but we didn't actually go and look at it yet, I think. Viewing room A. Achievement of the impossible. Curiosity of what we'll find. <laughs> Hope of finding new life. Do you actually want to find new life? We don't know if that's a good or bad thing. Sound suppression instructions. Try holding the test subjects into the Nocte shield. Notice that even sound can't escape the cloaking. Um, can I actually do anything like that? Oh! Oh. Huh. Sound. Maybe something with sound. Then we put it in there, then it won't make a sound anymore? The technology. The espial is almost impossible, or it is impossible, to detect while its stealth systems are activated. The Nocte shield eliminates detection from any known form of active sensing technology. The four light warp generator pillars allow for three-dimensional visual cloaking. So state-of-the-art technology here. Light wrap field instructions. If we put it in here, can we not see it? Oh my god. It's crazy. Put this one in. This one's not making noise though, is it? Oh yeah, we can hear it very quietly. But if we put it in, you can't hear it anymore. Oh, it's all gone. Uh, we haven't been in there yet, no. We don't know what room that is. Okay. A mentor once told me that within every great leader is a person of strength. But what is strength without honor? And what is honor without glory? Is she not getting recognized for her work? Is she upset about that? Okay, this is where the guy was looking down at me from. But they're no longer here. Hmm. The Espial. Oh, Specs? Okay. Ship Profile. The Espial is a vector class space station designed and built by Saito Engineering as a research and data retrieval vessel. Trilithium ore, a mineral sample from the Espial's first research expedition on planet Tannis Minor. Okay. Cool. What is that? Oh, is that like a game console? Maybe. Axiom Space Agency to Elias from the Senate. Pursuant to the Senate vote on a mission to study exoplanet Psi Prime, which received a 62 yes vote. Axiom is cleared with Senate approval to proceed with the mission. Is that what Mila was wondering about? Were the senators bribed? Outlined in the presentation to the Senate by Elias Volanti, the following are the stated mission deliverables. Observe the language, cultural, and social structures of planet Psi Prime's dominant species. How can we kill them? What? Oh, that's what the actual meaning is. Study the geological and biochemical characteristics of planet Psi Prime. What's of value on their planet? Research the technological capabilities of the dominant species of Psi Prime with specific focus on their ability to reach and detect our planet. Can we fight back? By pursuing this mission, Axiom pledges to operate in a manner of transparency and good faith with the Senate, aka half-truth to the public in order to promote self-image. <laughs> Who wrote this? They don't seem to think very highly of their employer. No. Yeah, so that's why the espial... I looked it up, but espial means something related to spying. Which is a perfect name. That's why it has such good cloaking and spy systems. Because we're here to spy on the aliens. 
I don't know if we've actually gotten any information about that. But uh, I guess we'll just have to keep going forward and see. The maintenance robot is in here already. Yeah, and I have a bracelet, a valid one. If I had to guess, I'd say we've been hit by something. Trouble is, I can't tell for sure because whatever did happen took everything offline. Engines, cloaking, communication. I get it, Aiden. We need to fix this. Now. I'm on it, but I have no idea how long this might take. Then let me remind you of what will find us if you don't hurry. Wait, what did they say broke just now? It kind of scares me how the <laughs> how the door keeps opening and closing. Is it the cloaking system that broke? Cuz if so, are they scared that the aliens will find us? Oh no. If I had to guess, I'd say we've been hit by something. Trouble is, I can't tell for sure because whatever did happen took everything offline. Engines, cloaking, communication. I get it, Aiden. We everything need to fix this. now. I'm on it, but I have no idea how long this might take. And let me remind you of what will find us if you don't hurry. Yes, everything's went offline. That's why we were sent here. This is very similar to Tacoma. Very similar. Bridge. Medical. Okay, guess we're going to medical. Oh, we've looked in here before. Yeah, we've been looking in here several times, but we've never been in here. Hey, this is a pretty realistic hospital-looking bed, isn't it? Laundry. Eco-safe materials only. Medicine. That I can freely access because everything about this place is so secure. No one's watching me this time, right? Okay. Oh, oh god. Oh my god, is that the alien? Nerve study. The peripheral autonomic sympathetic and somatic system mapping of the species physiology. Whoa, it looks really... furry. And it doesn't really have a traditional skull, although it's kind of humanoid looking. Oh, yeah, bone study. How do we see all of this? Wow. Because we're not actually... We haven't actually landed on the planet, yet we've been able to observe them in the middle of a civil war. If they're in the middle of a civil war, they probably wouldn't take too kindly to someone spying on them. <laughs> nothing, nothing. Notes. Aiden Vi's examination. Senior engineer. Contract. Medical diagnosis. Aiden meets the minimum health requirements for Axiom space travel. Active carrier of C-SAD, SAD. No observed symptoms that would deteriorate his ability to perform duties. Vise meets all health requirements and is cleared for the Aspial mission. His CSAD carrier status will not impact his job performance, but given CSAD has an extremely high mortality rate, whoa, we recommend that he be regularly screened post mission. What is CSAD? Someone got injured. Mila got injured. No, Mila filed the report. Silas got injured on day 12 at 3.30, 3.50. He got injured in the upper lab because he was being careless. While manually dissecting a sample retrieved from the surface, he cut his hand. Oh, whoa, that sounds like how an infection starts. His arm was cut, injured. I'm concerned this will compound his already inadequate physical competency. <laughs> Is that a slight burn here? <laughs> What could have been done to prevent the injury? He could have acted like an adult and be more aware of what he's doing. <sighs> what actions have been taken? Aiden has treated and dressed the wound, recommending we dock pay for the subsequent loss of efficiency Silas will experience during recovery. Should also consider further reprimands. That kind of sounds like you're taking it out on him because you're mad at him. This whole station doesn't feel very professional. <laughs> Psi Prime Species Overview The species is a physiologically bilateral, water-dependent, organic omnivore possessing an advanced emotional and intelligent intellectual capacity 
the former primarily dominated by fear. Fear. It's perceived their violence stems from underdeveloped social cognitive learning structures and systems, insufficient individual knowledge retention and processing. Wow, okay. Violence. So they're not, they're underdeveloped socially. That's why they're fighting, apparently. For all we know, there might be one on board right now. That's their eye, eye study. The local star emits a light spectrum with a comparatively long wavelength than our own. The species' eyes have developed to process and see colors that we cannot. Specifically, their retina can process light at 400 nm to 700 nm, but not the lower end of our visible light spectrum at 300 nm. Okay, so maybe if we... If we turn off the lights, it won't be able to see us. <laughs> I don't actually like knowing that information, because that means we might have to hide later on. I'm still incredibly wary. Oh my god! You know that shadow that we saw in the maintenance room? It didn't look human. Could that have been the alien? Jesus Christ. We were prepared to do little more than chemically converse with single-celled organisms and now disrespect our subjects by proceeding as if they were. What cruelty we show our cosmic siblings by denying them the knowledge that we exist. You're very free with your information. If you expose yourselves, the entirety of mankind is at risk. Until we find out who has the upper hand, it just doesn't seem very wise to randomly give out information. Okay, we can't open this. Can we? I didn't see any sort of lock around here. Did I miss something? That's just the... Yeah. The computer didn't really see anything. And it's not even a lock, is it? It's just sort of... Okay, well, maybe we'll be back. Maybe we'll be back. No one else to get me? The bridge. Lights? Guys? Oh, an emergency lockdown is enabled. Now we've disabled it. It looks like the systems were manually turned off. Like, everything still works. It actually still works. Remember how Aiden, he got an offer to mess things up, so maybe that's why. This is the S-File to Axiom. We've been discovered. An alien ship is attempting to dock. We're initiating lockdown and preparing for evacuation. Gentlemen, this mission is over. Back up all mission data and then get to the escape pod. Leo, they're boarding. We're done here. Both of you, move! Okay, that's really not a good sign. That really doesn't bode well for what's gonna happen to us. Oh my god. Um, if that's accurate, then that means there's an alien on board. Mila's office. We can't get in, even though we have a bracelet? Okay. We did see someone in a spacesuit, though. An exos- Whoa, shoot. Oh, that really scared me. Okay, that's, that's very nice and all. Ooh. They have such a huge station here, but only three people. Yes, you don't have to scare me repeatedly. Please. They have all these computers. They don't even use all of them. So there's something here, but I want to see what's going on. Okay! <laughs> Fuel tank dam offline. Damage detected. One of them. Docking. Oh my god. Docking bay open. There is no gravity. Because the docking bay is open. Dock ships, none. Dock ship log, unknown. Oh, on the 17th day. Oh my god. Oh no. 
Oh no. Someone's here. Someone's been here. Are they still here? Yeah, currently, no ships, but someone's been here on the 17th day. I'm freaking out, man. Further instructions. Elias to Mila. Leadership is pleased with your team's speed in achieving mission deliverables. Based on your reports, we anticipate being a full six days ahead of schedule, which provides us with a unique opportunity. Attached is a charter for the new project your team is to prepare for. Attachment has been deleted. Oh. This was on day 11. So about a week before whatever happened. Mila to Elias. This was never discussed in the mission's scope. And had it been, I never would have accepted command. What could have possibly changed for leadership to even consider this? We've only properly analyzed a fraction of the data collected. I think it goes without saying that we really have no clear idea of what we're dealing with yet. It's only been 11 days of discovering a new species, of course not. Once we see a more complete picture of the situation, we'll be in a more informed position to determine the next step. Elias to Mila. The first priority is the safety and welfare of our people. Based on the turbulent reports of the aliens' behaviors, there is mounting pressure to demonstrate a degree of control. AKA assert that humans are the best. I'll also add that the exorbitant cost of the Aspile mission requires Axiom to exceed expectations of stakeholders. It is an objective that requires everyone to follow the chain of command. And while you have a famous last name, I expect you to obey orders. So this new project, it must involve something to do with exerting control over the aliens. It's been deleted, so we don't know what it is exactly. Sibling rivalry. It's the disconnected and fragmented nature of the species that I find myself drawn to understanding. We can identify geographically based super clans formed in all quadrants of the planet, and the species fights viciously to defend their cultural identity. They almost look to create arbitrary division between themselves, despite the fact that, from my preliminary tests, they are 100% identical in nearly every way. It's sibling rivalry on a planet-wide scale. The aliens. So there's more than two clans fighting each other. They're all just fighting each other for... God knows why. God knows why. How long has this even been open for? Holy crap, that's so... We are- our back door is literally wide open and anybody could just be walking in and out. Jeez, that's... That's really quite a disturbing thought. Can we have a better look at the space here? Oh, that's- is that Earth? It's some planet. Oh no, this is probably the alien planet, huh? Lots of points of light, so maybe that's where the fighting is concentrated. Alright. Oh fuck my god! Explosion detected in the lower lab. Well, that doesn't sound good. 